Secrets. We are so glad you're here with us today. If you're a new subscriber, hey, hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, okay? <laughs> if you're a returning member of the family, we love that you're here with us. Wagwan! Wagwan. <laughs> today we have a topic for you today. It's very exciting. It's very interesting, it's very. especially right now. We've been having a lot of discussion around it. So we thought we would bring you in and hopefully we'll continue that discussion in the comment section. Definitely, definitely, definitely. All right, so you know, I like to begin with something like, what is this thing before we can talk about it? We have to know first and foremost what it is. So today's topic is gonna to be about gender roles and I wanna know what are gender roles? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's just our opinion, right? This is just our opinion. Gender roles are simply where each person assign or subscribe to what already exists and how they are to conduct themselves in a certain capacity. And it specifically goes by gender because there are certain things acceptable for men and there are certain things acceptable for women. Okay, okay, okay. How do you feel about gender roles? gender roles exist because we all need a place to fit and I think that it gives us that spot. It shows us, all right, this is what is expected of me or this is what is acceptable for me to do. And I think having that little standard base ground is healthy. What is the calling to be a woman? What you, what, what, what is your um, understanding or explanation of that? I'm going to go back to my redeemed sister Eve foundation of womanhood you're talking yeah. about eve from the bible not eve the rapper right d d i don't <laughs> even know eve the rapper so 100 percent talking about eve who was taken from adam's rib. i okay. do not know okay about let's just let's right just now. clarify that yes i'm glad you said that though <laughs> um, so should we talk about my girl eve that has been redeemed oh, praise god girl. yes because I had some beef with her, but now it's fully resolved, okay? Because every month when my little thing happens and I'm like a monster, I really think about her and I really like, why Jesus? God did! <laughs> why Jesus did! Like, why why, why, why yeah. you had to do this? So, 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 what, what, so what did you take from Eve? What is... Right, not to get off track. So, Eve, my good sister, she was created by God for a particular purpose. God didn't just say, oh, Eve, here you go. He looked at Adam. He had created Adam from the dust. He looked at him and he said, oh, something. Adam wants some problems in his life. And for sure, no, it was not. <laughs> <laughs> he looked and said, okay, Adam's going to cause problems without something. Oh, okay. So I'm going to do my God thing over here. And Adam looked too comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I feel like God looked, he saw his creation and he said, this could be better, 100%. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take from him and create again. And the two together shall be one and they shall rule the earth. That was yeah. his <laughs> perfect, perfect plan. And I feel like we should deviate from that plan. So in my worldview, a woman is created to find your place. We were put there to help Adam rule, to help Adam establish dominance, and to help Adam flourish and multiply and create generations to come. Okay. What do you think is your role as like a man, like your responsibility given to you by God? Well, my role as a man, you know, just being a provider. Yeah. And, and, and not being a provider in the sense of monetarily, you know? Only. Just, just monetarily only, just, just being that rock, just yes. being that emotional, you know, emotional, physical, whatever it is for your woman. So not just money, not just going out and working and all that different stuff, you know, just spiritually, you know, a, a, a man should love his woman like how God loves the church. So, like I said, I'm always going to come from a place of God mm -hmm. and just being that emotional rock, that support system. Yeah. To always, you know, to always be there, to yeah. provide in any which way that I can. I 100% I agree and can see that. 
And I would go a step further and say, to lead. Like, mm-hmm. to take up that, and I know that calls yeah. out they're providing, but it's like to lead, to yeah. make sure that you have the banner out front, be like, yeah, I'm the one waving this banner yeah. right here. Cause a lot, because a lot of men, you know, always say, man, I, oh, you want your woman to submit. But a woman is not going to submit if she don't see anything to submit to. You got, you know, you know, people like my, my, my mom always say, I'm not going to follow you if you don't know where you're going. So as a man, if you want, if you want your woman, if you're talking about submission or submitting, you know, she has to see where you're going. You have to have a plan. Yeah. You know, because women are stubborn. And they're not, that's not going to happen. So it's not <laughs> necessarily that we're Aww. stubborn. It's just that we need to understand the goal. And I feel like that was from the very jump. You know, God gave Adam his responsibility, told him, yo, Adam, this is what's up. You're about to name all these animals. You're about to do all these things. Establish your dominance. He didn't say one word to Eve. He told Adam this. So Adam had the vision. And then Adam was supposed to communicate this vision to Eve. And the two of them go off and rule the earth. That's what was supposed mm-hmm. to happen. So I am still sticking with that. I feel like, yes, it's your responsibility to lead. Mm-hmm. You are the one that's supposed to have this charge to take on and go forth and conquer. And I'm supposed to help you make that happen. Like, yeah. subscribe to the one vision of advancement for us all. And then make that happen with you together. Mm-hmm. With that, we're going to slide right into <laughs> the other topic, which is, like, expectations. And talking about how those pre gender roles leads people into certain expectations and how are we going to maneuver that currently in this society? Mm-hmm. Boundaries have to be set and you always got to lead from a place of love. Yeah. You always have to lead from a place of love because if you're with your partner and for <clears throat> for instance, both you guys are working mm-hmm. and the man get home from work first, right? Mm-hmm. If you get home, and you, you as the man, you get home from work first, you could, you know, you could cook, yeah. you know, Sorry, you could do the laundry, you know, and it's, and it's vice versa. You as the woman, and, and even so, the, the woman might have work and came home early and she feel like she don't want to cook. And as the man, you feel like you don't want to cook, but you know, you could help each other. You could take out the chicken. Yeah. You could get certain things ready. You know, you could do it together you, just, just to make, just to lessen that load, yeah. you know, because these, I feel like these highfalutin expectations it's only going to get you hurt. I first didn't subscribe to expectations leading to hurt, but here's how. Mm-hmm. It's because they weren't communicated and right. agreed upon. Right. Because I feel like <clears throat> if you communicate with me, this is what I'm expecting out of my partner. I communicate with you. This is what I'm expecting out of my partner. This is how I'm loved. This is how I feel cherished. This is what I'm looking for you to do. This, this, and that. And we share those expectations with each other and agree, is this something you can do? Is this something I can do? Do we see that this is happening together and creating cohesive forward progression? Right. And if we both say, yeah, I think we can both do that, you're not going to be perfect. It's not going to happen all the right. time. But I feel like we're on the same page that this is the expectation I have for you. This is what our relationship should look like. That is not a necessary way to get hurt. Once everybody know that, hey, you know your role. It goes back to the role. Everybody got to know that, hey, what does this relationship look like? What, does, what is this going to be? Mm-hmm. You know, are you expecting me to be the one to do this all the time? Mm-hmm. You know, do I expect you to be the one cooking and cleaning because you're the female? So, so once you lead with love and set up these boundaries within your relationship, you know, it makes for a smooth journey. I 100% subscribe to that. And leading with love, guys, it's it's the kindest thing you can do. It's just being kind. It's just like you're washing your car, your partner has a car, you wash theirs. It's like you you see them struggling in the snow with 10 bags, like carry two of them. It just doesn't need to be, oh, your man just carry all bags. And these are just basic examples, guys. I mean, there are so many opportunities for us to love each other. Just share a kind word, encourage somebody. You see them having a hard time at work, don't push them down already further than they're already down. Like Try to be that encouragement, that lifter of their spirit, that safe place, that haven that they can come to and be like, oh my God, I'm telling you, this thing is, this thing is, I need help. 
mm-hmm. you know just try to lead with that love what would you want somebody to do for you do that mm-hmm. do that you know if you're studying late and you want somebody to bring you a cup of tea please do that do that if you are you know you're tired and you need somebody to run you a bath do that do that yeah, anything do you others. need yeah do unto others that's as you would like it to be done you know so as it, yeah. because so as it pertains to gender roles you know society has changed you know we're living in different times Definitely. so pretty much right now man the best way to go at this whole gender role thing is just to lead with love 100 you know? percent could not say that better myself lead with love and with that guys that's how we're gonna leave you tonight we're leading with love right here this is a love fam <laughs> Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you, guys. Let's continue the conversation in the comment section. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Let us know. I mean, let us know your opinion. Let us know how you, what you feel. Give us another side. Yeah. Exactly. And with that, two friends. Yeah. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye.